Okay, Scorpio. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for next week. And I'm my name is Jill, for those that don't know. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a couple Oracle here and then Tarot. Okay, so for Scorpio, for next week. Okay. Relationship harmony and it's water. A loyal and harmonious relationship or partnership is being manifested. The bond between friends, lovers, and partners will grow and blossom. Nurture the relationship with no judgment and no expectations. Okay. And then one romance oracle for those who are interested in one. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right. And now to the tarot. Okay. For Scorpio. For next week. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, um, it can help me to pick up on your energy a little more. Um, so it kind of helps us both out. And at the end, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like or share, that would be appreciated. And uh, every sign has a power color. And yours is black. All right. Hope this is not being cut off there, the cards at the bottom. Okay, so there are earth signs, air signs, fire signs, and water here. The sign that stands out here, there's a couple, Pisces and Libra. And I'm just going to look at the cards here just for a second. Let's see. Okay. All right, so you start off here with the moon. So this is saying to trust your intuition. Uh, this is a card generally of like secrets, intuition, psychic abilities. Um, it's also saying to let go of your fears and to pay attention to signs. Now, some of you, I don't know, this could, can indicate a love triangle. So I don't know if there's a love triangle going on there, but it can indicate it and uh, also it says don't be confused like about what the world is doing it's saying to follow your instincts and make your dreams come true okay so next up you have justice now in the position it's in though it, I don't know if it's an issue or on your mind uh, I don't know if you're being fair or re and reasonable because this card generally would represent being fair and reasonable and standing up for what you believe. So I don't know if you're being fair or if, if it's an issue of you standing up for what you believe. Um, but it, it it generally does mean like justice being served and if there's anything legal going on in the courts or something like that. It just shows that as long as you're being fair and reasonable that things will go in your favor. So I don't know if it's, like I said, an issue, though, with you being fair or reasonable. Um, but it's here. It comes up here. All right. So next up here. With this card, this is good news about your money or career. Um, for some, it can be a promotion. For others, a scholarship. Um, might be maybe your student pursuing a new course of study. But it can be hands-on training. So it is good news. Next up here you have the Queen 
of coins. This is a page and this is the queen of, of coins here. So this shows you uh, being generous and practical and uh, it's a card of security and abundance and it does show accomplishments and someone who likes to help others. And it shows that you have like you have really good resources or you're really good at gathering resources. And kind of like manifesting what you need. Next up here. So this is the Nine of Swords. So with this card, and this is your near future here. So this is showing uh, some anxiety and stress and uh, some maybe possibly like sleepless nights. It's telling you to find a way to let go. And, uh, you know, I know that's easier said than done, but it says to try to refocus your thoughts. Uh, I don't know if you're obsessing over something or going to be obsessing over something, but that can lead to stress, stress leads to illness. So just try to refocus if you can. Because it does show that something is, it, it speaks of unfound fear. It might even kind of like expecting the worst on something, but just again, try to refocus. The microphone, I'm messing with the microphone. Okay. So next up here, you have the Ten of Wands. So this shows you maybe you're, I don't know if the stress is coming from working too much, but this shows working too hard or too many hours and maybe feeling overburdened or under pressure. So the card calls for balance. Try to find some balance there because, um, Working too hard, too many hours can lead, I mentioned stress, stress can lead to health issues. So just try to find some balance. And uh, two cards here talking about, you know, kind of like this anxiety, stress, and all this stuff. So talks about refocusing your thoughts, finding balance. And uh, your next card here. So what this is is saying stand up for your beliefs and to have confidence. I don't know if there's been a challenge or if you've been having to defend yourself, but this is saying to hold your ground with integrity. And uh, it's also a card about kind of like being persistent and uh, also it says to be selective in love. Okay. So next up here, all right. So this is the Four of Cups. So this can be missed opportunities or you maybe you're missing the point on something, um, but it, it can be distractions or even boredom. Uh, I don't know if you guys, again, this, this fears or this is fears, doubts, and securities coming up, which I mentioned with the stress and anxiety. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here with the fear and anxiety and insecurities going on here, but it does say don't let self-doubt overtake you. Also, um, says that stubbornness it can keep you from you know right timing of things and sometimes you know with this card too it's a, it's kind of like uh, shows look at what's right in front of you you know sometimes the, the, you're missing the point you're not seeing what's right in front of you so the card can also come across you know for some of you meaning that Next up here, the last card out, King of Cups. All right. So what this shows is it, it shows a safe situation or a safe person, kind of like a, something's trustworthy. It's safe. Uh, shows somebody who really cracks under pressure. And also, the, and this is for you, that in, I believe it shows that you can read other people like a book. I'm pretty sure that that is for you. Yeah, so it shows that you're trustworthy, you're honorable. And again, if it's talking about a situation, if you're wondering about a situation, it's saying that it's safe. All right, so the end of these, I'm pulling one more card out of, out of my Chinese deck here. This deck here is Japanese, and this one's Chinese. All right, so just uh, one more card to clarify the reading. Eight of 
swords. Okay, so this, uh, okay, so this clarifies it all right because this speaks of uh, fear, anxiety. You know, you have the nine here, now you have the eight. You also, well, this is the ten of wands, but this is showing, you know, again, having fear, anxiety. Uh, some of you maybe you feel trapped or restricted. Maybe this feeling of isolation also. But this says constant worrying can make you feel powerless. So it's saying to remain calm and strong. And, you know, I mentioned to refocus the thoughts and uh, try to find a way to let go of some things. All right, you guys. Again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, can help me to pick up on your energy some more. Um, and also, if you liked it, if you want to get a like, share, all that kind of good stuff, that'd be cool. And another video or two should be popping up. You guys might want to check it out. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it.